guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you two very creepy legends. The first one is called The White String, and this story is so disturbing and creepy. It really reminds me of those like scary stories you tell in the dark kind of tales. But before I get started, in case you have not seen my previous video, we currently have a huge gnome sale going on our website right now. So every single gnome that we have on there is on sale. It's a discounted price for a limited time, and we have so many different kinds of gnomes, some with like wings, mermaid tails, cute little outfits. We have like creepy gnomes, cute gnomes. I mean, we have every kind of gnome on our website. So if you would like to adopt one, take one home with you. I'll put the link down below in the description. We also have an auction for our Flatman book, which is the book that I talked about. It was a really creepy book from the 1980s, really hard to find now. I can't believe that I was even able to locate one. But if you guys would like to bid for this item, I will be signing the inside cover and all proceeds go towards our Yana Foundation, which is really awesome. So I'll put a link to the Flatman book down below in the description. We also have a brand new line of flower necklaces. They're so gorgeous. They're basically flowers encased in resin. So it's like clear and you can see all the petals and they're just so, so cool. And they come in a bunch of different colors. And we also have the matching earrings for them. So if you guys would like any of those, I'll also link it down below. A lot of links down below, but I just like to keep you guys posted on what's going on behind the scenes. It's not just videos. We also have such a cool shop going and I'm just so passionate about it. So thank you guys for all of your support. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into our first creepy story. This is called The White String. A young girl desperately wanted to get her ears pierced, but her parents said that she was too young. She pleaded with them, saying that all the other girls in her class had pierced ears. So eventually her parents relented and agreed to let her do it. They gave her some money and told her to go to her local mall and get her ears pierced in a jewelry store, which is what you should be doing when you're getting your ears pierced. Go to someone professional, go to an actual jewelry store that will do it properly. But instead of listening to them, of course, the girl decided to keep the money and do the piercing herself. She got her best friend to help her do it. Now guys, please never do this. Never, ever, ever. And you're gonna see why. I mean, this story is kind of a cautionary tale. So they heated up a needle and stuck it through both of the girl's earlobes. It was quite painful, but in the end, her ears were pierced and she was delighted delighted to be able to wear earrings. However, only a few days later, the girl was in school when she began to feel a pain in her left ear. Her earlobe also felt extremely itchy. During break time, she went into the bathroom and looked in the mirror. Her earlobe was red and inflamed and she began scratching at it. When she looked closely, she saw what looked like the end of a piece of white string sticking out of the hole in her earlobe. And thinking it was very strange, she began to pick at it and pull at it. And after a few minutes, there was a long piece of white string hanging out of her pierced earlobe. There didn't seem to be any end to it, which is so creepy. She just kept pulling and pulling. So finally, she got out a pair of scissors and cut the string. Suddenly, everything went black. She couldn't see. She was rushed to the emergency room at the local hospital where a doctor examined her. And when she told the doctor what happened, he was completely shocked. This is what he said. I'm sorry, you will be blind for the rest of your life. That wasn't a white string. That was your optic nerve. And yeah, that's how this story ends. Obviously, I, I, I don't think science and anatomy works that way, but it's supposed to be like a creepy cautionary tale and it freaked people out. I mean, this story is all over the internet. It was just really, really scary to read and I will never look at my ear piercings the same after this. Okay, and then we have our second legend. This one is called The Handshake. In an old forgotten cemetery just north of Goldsboro, North Carolina, there is a headstone that is cracked in half and held together by a pair of rusty brackets. Engraved at the top, there is the strangely haunting image of a handshake. Back in 1856, there was a 17-year-old girl named Rachel Vinson who thought she had found the man of her dreams. He was eight years older than her and his name was George Deans. Rachel dreamed about the wonderful wedding they would have together and she was head over heels in love, but unfortunately, George 
George didn't really feel the same. He would cheat on her with multiple different girls, and when she found out he was being unfaithful, she was devastated, obviously. However, she just did not want to lose him, so she went to him, told him how much she still loved him, and she said she would still marry him if he stopped seeing other girls. So she was really desperate to still be with him. But George wasn't very sensitive, and he dumped her immediately. Now, Rachel's heart was broken, she felt like she could never love again, and she fell into this deep, dark spiral of sadness. Within weeks, her uncontrollable grief made her sick, her body grew weaker and weaker, and she lost the will to live. One day, she called George to her bedside as she was dying, and she told him to lean in close so she could whisper into his ear. And this is what she said to him. I realize I can never have you in this world, but I shall claim you in the next. Well, the next day, Rachel died. She was buried in the little graveyard, and George tried to put her out of his thoughts and go about his life. Almost a year later, George was wandering home from a Christmas party. His route took him past the graveyard where Rachel was buried, and as he walked, he saw a strange fog-like mist rising out of the cemetery. He then saw a ghostly figure of a woman. George was shaking and terrified when he realized this ghostly figure had Rachel's face. He was unable to run as her ghostly apparition came closer and closer, and suddenly she reached out and grabbed his hand. Her touch was icy cold. cold colder than death. And then she vanished. George was found wandering aimlessly down the road. He seemed to be in a daze and his right hand hung limp by his side. It was frozen solid. From then on, he suffered excruciating pain in the hand where she touched him. And within days, it withered and shriveled up and eventually just dangled loosely at his side. George was never married and spent the rest of his life alone. And when he died, he was buried in the same cemetery as Rachel. In his will, he had left instructions for that ghostly image to be chiseled onto the tombstone above his name. Two hands eternally clasped in an ice-cold handshake. So yeah, that's a really like sad story and also kind of disturbing as well. If you guys like me talking about like shorter stories but doing a bunch in one video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. But before I go, don't forget if you would like to check out our gnome sale or check out the Flatman book auction or the flower resin necklaces, everything is linked down below for you. But I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!